Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's me, Holy Depp. And today in this episode, I would like to show you how a simple trick which a few characters tie into a login form can allow a hacker to break into an entire database. And this is this trick called SQL injection or SQL injection, but I prefer to call it SQL. And please note, this video is made for educational purposes only. I do not encourage or promote any hacking activity. And this animation is created um, by HTML, CSS, and JavaScript to help um, my viewer understand and visualize the concept easier. All right, here's a step-by-step -step how the hackers can using SQL command to exploit uh, sensitive data. Come to the step one, input malicious data. Imagine the hacker open a login page, right? In the login page, it has to input username and password. Instead of typing real username or password, the hacker type this string. So here's the explanations. This string uh, always return true because one equal one is always true. So this string will be inserted into the SQL query if the the one who create the website does not sanitize inputs or does not secure the input. Come to the step two. We see. All right. Behind the scenes, uh, the website builds an SQL query to check the login. Normally, it um it looks like this. As we select all the data from the user table where username and password are right. But with the hacker input, it's become select all the data from the user table where uh, username with this um the one equal one means true, so it will return our users. So, as you can see, because um, the input of username uh, inserts uh, by the string, so, of course, this will lead to um, a risk and come to step three. So um, the query, the query become select all data from the user table where one equal one. Just mean um, it just select all the data from user because one equal one is always true, and it we return all the records from the user table allowing the hacker to log in at the first account. So come to the step four, the hacker will exploit more sensitive data. And with the union command, so the hacker will tie more, like union select username password from the users uh, from users, that means it will um, list all the username and password from the users table out of the screen. And the union command allows retrieving additional data from the user table, including passwords. Usually it uh, will be hashed, right? But it's also dangerous. So um, you can see, um, the username and password is um, list on the screen. So, uh, the if the user, um, if uh, the website have the user table with many column like uh, email, username, nickname, or even number, phone, or address, so. The hacker will uh, collect all the sensitive data and do a, of course, uh, illegitimate uh, action to the user. 
So how can we protect um, our website and from the hacker exploit uh, thing, uh, the data from our website? We we'll come to step five. Prevention solutions. So here's a um, solution we can use prepare statement. The SQL and data are completely separate. But um, if you're using Laravel or other frameworks, uh, in Laravel, we don't need to use this statement, but in procedural PFPs, we have to use this statement. And input validation in the Laravel, I usually use um, purifier to sanitize the input. But uh, yeah, of course, in the others, um, language or from work, you can use this um, uh, if condition to allow safe cha safe characters, and we can use um, principle of least privilege. This um, will be used in the database to limit database access permissions. So um, also here's um, um, another solution like error handling. So we uh, we don't have to expose SQL errors to the user or kinda, you don't need to lock the error on the screen or on the control. So uh, if you lock the error like that, the hacker will know and yeah, they can try to ex exploit your website and exploit the user sensitive data. And now it's Arista. So if you watch until the end, um, and you know, I create a um, GitHub repository for this animation. So you can check out it on my GitHub by clicking the GitHub icon here. And I want to say that I also have a Vietnamese version for this animation. And I also display uh, the Vietnamese versions. And if you're a Vietnamese, you do not uh, change anything. And you just need to click at the deploy URL and see how the animation works and uh, know more about how the SQL injection works. And of course, if you're not uh, a Vietnamese people, you have to change the name of um, um, english.html file to index.html file and before you um, fork my repository please start my repository for what I have done so far and if you found this video helpful please like and subscribe to my channel and if you have any questions like you have any uh, definition to how to and you find it's hard to understand you can comment below and if I can, I will create uh, an animation for it to explain step by step how it does it work. Um, and yes, yeah. and if you have any questions, please let me know. See you again next time. Bye.